Hi. Have you ever wanted to play a video game for fun and entertainment, but you're afraid of playing it for eight hours straight or more and getting RSI or maybe like a cyst on the wrist? Um, so these companies, they, they kind of don't care that much about your health for video games. You know, they want to keep you playing and as much as possible. And they, you know, want you to do a lot of actions per minute. Um, physically spamming the keyboard and mouse. So today I am offering a solution to that. Um, some might view this as cheating. Um, you know, I disagree with that. Uh, I think computers, you should be free to operate them as you please. Uh, the game we're playing is Yellow Four. It's not like a competitive game. I can see arguments a little bit more so for competitive environments, but even there, a lot of these stuff are hard to detect. I've I've seen people live stream similar stuff, and it's unless you're like at a venue on a LAN local area network, competitive network connection, whatever, and they are inspecting your computers and stuff and everything. It's if you're playing from home. Um, I doubt like you would get banned or anything like that. It's, um, you gotta prioritize your health. But anyways, let's get into all. Uh, so in this video, I'll give you a demo of the script macro program, whatever you want to call it. Give you a demo, and then I will show you how to install, run it yourself, and then at the end, I'll talk a little bit about the code itself um, all right let's get started so I'm gonna turn on the display it's gonna look a little weird for a second all right so now you can see my desktop okay so I already have Diablo running so we need to run our script so if you don't know if it's running it's gonna be in here so we're gonna double click one click Diablo V6. So now you see it's running. If you want to exit, we just right click exit. So now it's not running. Okay, so let's open it back up again. It's running. All right, so we're going to go into the game. Okay, so we're going to kill this boss real quick. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Shift A. And then I'm gonna, that's all, I, all I'm gonna do. And it's gonna cast all my abilities in a rotation, optimizing damage per second, everything. Um, so let's go ahead and, I thought I had attack speed, but that's okay. And we're almost there, almost there. Usually I'm in full screen mode, but for this purpose we're all right, so I'm gonna press Shift A, and you know my hands are not on the keyboard. Um, every 10 seconds, he clicks the health bar. So when I play, I just kind of move the mouse. I might like press a health potion immediately, but um, so yeah, when I want to stop the script, I just click Control A again, and uh, yeah, just click Control A, and then it stops the script. So. Right here, I just press Control A. Now it's stopped, um, and then it goes into the next section of the boss fight. Uh, for these purposes, I'm not gonna show that, um, but I think you guys kind of get the point. So what we did here was um, initiate. We'll drink a health potion and we'll cast Dash Shadow Step, so that puts our character in front. And then we activate this, and then we spam these in a rotation. And then every cooldown, it's going to cast the Ice Imbue and the Shadow Step. And that, that would be on cooldown, and it, it's tracking every 10 seconds. It'll refresh a health potion, because that also boosts my damage with uh, my character stats. So there, one caveat is it does go infinite. Maybe like once a day, I would say. 
what that means is like it'll kind of go in a loop and you can't stop it. So the solution is to do control alt delete and then just cancel and then windows key or whatever. And you, you want to get to this taskbar and you just want to close it, exit. And then now the script's done in it. You should be fine. Um, if you want to turn it back on, you just go files, double click it again and just read it. It's no, no big deal to restart, but that is a, a caveat. Okay. So now I will show you how to install it. So auto hotkey, um, we need V1.1. So I think if I just click it, it'll go up in here, downloads, and you just double click like the .exe and it'll just install. It's really easy. Um, if you're concerned about like security, like if you if you think I'm like having you download a hack or something, um, auto hockey is pretty well known. I'm not sure if it's open source, so if you're afraid, you can free it open source. So you should be able to inspect the software. Okay, so G G G and U G P L V two, that's a very good free and open source software. So if you're concerned, you should be able to go to GitHub. Uh, that's Discord. You should be able to go to their GitHub. Typically, um, free and open source software has a GitHub. Um, not sure why it's not linked on the website. Maybe it's in the docs somewhere. Um, here we go. Auto hotkey source code. So if you're a little skeptical of, you know, a stranger on the internet telling you to download something, obviously you, you can inspect the code here yourself. Um, so that's a, that's a virtues of free and open source software. Um, as far as the gameplay, I'm following this guide by Lexi. Lex you garage rogue for Diablo. So that kind of explains how this was coded. Um, so if you want to download the script, go to my GitHub in a C9 sample work tree main to sample the work and they'll get you there. And then HKs, you go to V6. I just up uploaded it. So the semicolons are comments. Um, and then you just download it, double click it, run it. And you can change it for other games too. This line just makes it so it doesn't work outside of the Diablo 4 window. This lets you turn it off. So if you if you need to like type and use capital A, you can temporarily suspend it without actually closing the file. Um, what else? So toggles false. These are all variables. In in is like a time, it's like milliseconds, 200 milliseconds, I think, or something like that. So this does a 10 seconds. This is 10,000 milliseconds, which is 10 seconds, I think. So every 10 seconds, drink a health potion and we'll cast dash. So, so these you have to change for yourself to your own hockey, which I've kind of written here. So if your health bar is, a, is assigned to the space bar, you have to like changes to space um, and all that is in you can just if you don't know what it is if you don't know how to um, what's it called if you don't what don't know what the key is called you go to the docs and you just look up a key so for example space space bar you just type in space so replace F with space so you would have space here if you want to assign that hotkey to that. Um, so this is like a, a thing I really loved lately is like the modulus function, um, modulus math. Um, it's basically like, think of like clocks. Um, so you, it's like division, but you're only looking at the remainder. So um, basically whenever it's not divisible by zero it's gonna spam this 
when it when the exception occurs that it is divisible by zero by zero, it'll do this. Okay. Um, actually, no. Um, if allowed is true, then it'll spam both. Um, the variable allowed is if you saw it's false right now. So if this becomes true over here, um, and that's after about five seconds. It depends on the iteration. So this 15 is how many times the script loops, how many rotations it does. So on the 15th rotation, it's going to trigger the, this exception else. We're going to send the other imbuement. Um, you have to change this as well. I forgot to add this, but change, change this to whatever. So this is just makes it so like the imbuements are rotating and they're somewhat optimized for the cooldowns. Um, and then this is like your basic ability rotation. Um, so you obviously have to change these to whatever. Um, control A, if you want to start the script with a different key, you just change it to change A to B or A to... You can even do a left click if you want. The script, I actually developed this um, building off of an earlier script where I would hold the mouse button down, it will continuously click, and when I let go, it stops clicking. So I used that for a different game for many years, and I kind of built this script borrowing from that code a little bit. I ended up changing it because I just wanted, I was like, okay, it's just, instead of holding down a key, it's better just to have a toggle. So I do control A, um, and then obviously when it starts, I do like a one-time cast this ability, start the health potion. And that's just, so if you want anything to happen when you first toggle it, you can just change these. Um, and then... You can change this number, that's like how often it cycles, how often it loops. So, yeah, um, you see kind of the earlier versions, they're a little different. Um, the This one I would have to like hold the key down and it's kind of similar but kind of different. Um, but this one's pretty clean, and I think it'll work out of the box if anyone's interested. Um, again, uh, um, yeah, if, I mean, we this, uh, at the Automated Intelligence Community College, we, we studied a lot of physics in our earlier videos. And, you know, one of the concepts is, you know, work, um, completing a task with, um, you know, each action has a set amount of work you're putting into it. So when you're casting abilities and you're spamming the keyboard, it's a lot of work. Here you're doing the same amount of work with less force or like less act like less energy, you know. Doing the same doing a task doing the task the same with less energy. Um and this is like semi autonomous. It's like performance enhancing because you're still playing the game, you're just uh, more efficient with how you're doing the controls. Um, it's not, I can see arguments for like if, if you're fully botting or you're fully autonomous, where you're like, you can go to the store and the script's still playing the game for you. Um, I don't see the point of that unless you're like, I don't know, gold farming or selling the gold for IRL cash, something that's the only time, but I don't, I don't necessarily agree with that, but um. Yeah, uh, I hope this lets you enjoy the game a little bit more. Um, you can change it to other games. You can DM me on X if you want me to help you or whatever. I'm happy to help. And consider tipping us at our crypto wallets. It's always appreciated. So, yeah, I will see you guys next time.